up with another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. If you've been to this website before, you know I'm a huge Lamborghini enthusiast, especially the early Lamborghinis. This is the Espada, of course, an early Mira P400. Countach, and my other Mira here as well. And one of the heroes of Lamborghini is a man named Valentino Balboni. He is the legendary test driver for Lamborghini. When he was 18 years old in the early 60s, uh, he went to work for them as an apprentice and became a test driver. I was fortunate to have him come by my garage. There he is there. There he is standing next to the uh, mirror that he actually test drove. He test drove every Lamborghini. Here he is more recently at Pebble Beach introducing this new car, and I was honored to uh, give Valentino an award at uh, Pebble Beach this year. This car is built as a testament to you to honor your 40 years with Lamborghini, and your actual DNA is in every one of these cars, isn't it? I don't want to go there. It's not what you think, but it's... Uh... So Lamborghini has built a car dedicated to him. It's the Lamborghini uh, Gallardo, I guess Balboni edition, I guess that's what you'd call it. Uh, this is different from the other modern Lamborghinis in that this is rear-wheel drive only, which is what I prefer. I, I love, uh, four-wheel drive is nice, but I have to admit I'm a big fan of two-wheel drive like these early ones. You know, just sliding around, a little bit lighter, steering's a little more responsive. And uh, I think it's a wonderful tribute to him that the factory did this. I guess they're building 250 of these. And let's meet the man behind the marketing, Cedric Davies. Cedric, come on in here. You're the uh, marketing guy for Lamborghini? Nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, tell us about this car, how it came to be. Well, it's uh, just like you said, it's, it's a derivative of the Gallardo, right. the most popular and, and uh, the best seller Lamborghini ever. That's made. my favorite one because size wise, as much as I like the, the big one, right. I, I just find myself, you're, I'm always doing this. It's kind of wide on the road. Whereas yeah. this one is, is, is the perfect size V10 engine. It's what, 542 horsepower? Yes, exactly, 542. So it's 10 horsepower less than the standard model. Right, different mapping. Right, but you have obviously lighter weight because you've gotten rid of all. So it's about the same performance. Yeah, it's exactly the same uh, weight to power ratio. Right. Exactly the same one. And it feels lighter and more responsive to me. I hope they build more two-wheel drive Lamborghinis. I mean, I, I think, uh, how's the response been for this car? Good? Well, so far it's been really good. I mean, yeah. it's, the car just been introduced and, right. and uh, we are starting with the first deliveries in the U.S. But it's, uh, it's uh, I think having the name Balboni behind it yeah, also yeah. helped a little bit, but it's, uh, it's a really fun car to drive. And, right. And, uh, and it, it differs, from, differs from the standard model and they all have a racing stripe, correct? Right. Correct. Uh, different colors as well. Yeah, different. Yeah, the main uh, difference is the, the stripe that goes from the, the front to the end of the car, and you have also the interior. This is a special interior right. um, th that you can only find on the Balboni edition. Let's take a look. Now this one has the uh, E-Drive or E-Gear. E-Gear, absolutely. Okay. I must admit, I, I tend to like the standard shift more, but you know, I've driven it. It is a fabulous transmission. It's amazing how quickly it shifts. Exactly. I mean, it's, uh, it's faster, I think, than any human could possibly shift. Definitely. Uh, let's open the motor here. You've got this beautiful glass cover here over the engine, so you can see the engine. Obviously, it's easy enough to check your fluids. Nice carbon fiber here. Nicely done, so much better than the old days. You know, I, I remember the old days of Lamborghini when the rear engine, after you drove a couple hundred miles, everything here would sort of be burned and charred from the tremendous engine heat. You know, the uh, cars in the late 80s and early 90s have this giant catalytic converter it would put out 1400, 1800 degrees, and everything here would slowly kind of melt. So it's fabulous to see that uh, they've entered the 21st century. And these cars are, are pretty bulletproof. You know, these days you can't sell a car that has all the old-fashioned Italian sort of, uh, you know, little uh, quirks. You know, people won't, won't, they just won't stand for it anymore. And everything works, heating, air conditioning, you know, they're pretty bulletproof. We'll take it for a ride in just a minute. You can see what I'm talking about. But uh, nicely detailed engine compartment. As I said, V10. How many liter? 5.2 uh, liter. 5.2 liter. 5.2 liter. See, we in America think 5.2 liter is a small block. You go to Europe and that's a huge motor. And in terms of horsepower, it is a huge motor. It's 542 horsepower. How many pounds? How much does it weigh? A little under 3,000 pounds. Okay, a little under 3,000 pounds. That's pretty amazing. Let's take it for a spin and see what it does. 
Got that wonderful Lamborghini sound. You've got reverse gear here and put you in reverse. You got your paddle shifters here. You have three settings. You have A, fully automatic. You have sport, which is obviously sporty, or Corsa, which is well, full out race, which will uh, shift at maximum RPM. That's where you want to keep it most of the time. Go to full out sport race. Yeah, give it a shot. You got all kinds of deals here. You can raise or lower the car depending on. Uh, you know, if you come in a driveway or something, which is great. So many of these cars, you rip off the whole front splitter because they're so low to the ground. And it sounds fantastic. I love the way the throttle blips when you downshift. You know, even the best race car driver in the world can't shift this fast. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. Now, Valentino Balboni's around the same age as I am. And I remember back in the uh, mid to late 80s, the American TV show 60 Minutes did a profile of Valentino Balboni as having the best job in the world. And he took Mike Wallace, no, he took uh, Morley Safer out for a ride in a Lamborghini and scared the heck out of him. And I thought, wow, that's the greatest job in the world. So when he came to my garage and I was able to meet him, that was a real thrill. A very nice gentleman, classy guy. And now that he's retired, he kind of, uh, well, spends his life answering invitations from Lamborghini clubs all around the world that want him to come speak and talk about their cars. And uh, he personally test drove every one. Now that sounds pretty crazy, but you know, back in the 60s and 70s, there were times when they were building only maybe 40 or 50 cars a year, so he could do that. Just take these cars out through the back roads of Italy near the factory and run at 180, 190 miles an hour. Pretty amazing life. I have to admit, I do like the two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive only better. It just feels more responsive, it feels lighter. would hold up compared to a standard clutch. Probably a lot stronger. Uh, you know, a clutch, you can, you can blow out a clutch at 5,000 miles, whereas this feels like uh, you'd have to do some work to break it. I gotta admit, this e-gear is addictive. You know, as much as I like heel and toe and shifting, I, I, I could never shift it this quickly by hand. Just touch the paddle. I, I love this, you know, it feels so much lighter. Maybe it's psychological because I already know. I mean, the four wheel drive system is good. I just like hanging the tail out and sliding it around because that's kind of half the fun. Now I've had this car for about four days. Doesn't overheat, doesn't get temperamental, always starts. Uh, been pretty rough on this transmission haven't done any damage, you can beat this thing up all day and she, she keeps running. So it's, uh, it's a real testament to quality control, what they've been able to do compared to the old days. Anyway, I'm gonna drop it down a gear, take it down Pacific Coast Highway. See you next week.